Hi everyone, I'm Mauro from Solarbox Studio here in the UK and today in our plugin of the week section we're going to be reviewing one amazing plugin, it's one of my favorite from the people of DDMF. It's a German company and they have amazing plugins on the catalog. But today we're going to be focused in the Meta plugin. It's a BRAP plugin that allows you to use inside Pro Tools, Audio Unit, BST and BST3 plugins. To me, the plugin is a fantastic option for all of those that work in different DAWs like Logic Pro X and Ableton Live and want still using their favorite plugins. Also, it's a really amazing and creative tool. So let's go, check it out. Okay, like always, a brief description of our Pro Tool session. For today, it's a very simple setup. I just get the audio that we are gonna work with in the upper track and in the bottom I get the master track. As you can see, it's a very simple setup. In the upper part of the plugin you get the bypass button. Also you have the setup section where are all the parameters that you can configure inside a plugin to make it work in the way that you want. As you can see, inside the Meta plugin, you get one audio input and one MIDI input. Remember always to see every single tool that I review on this channel, gear or anything as a potential creative tool. So don't limit yourself to use these tools for the purpose that they were created. You can feel free to explore different uses and different ways to use these tools. I just want to show you the tools, but the creativity and the uses that you can choose are unlimited. And this is my main purpose, help you to be more creative and free. Make double click in the name of the plugin and the interface pop up and you'll be able to change the parameters of the plugin that you choose. In the bottom of the audio input you can find one small cable for the left channel and another for the right channel. You connect both of them with the plugin of your choice. Then you repeat the same operation from the plugin of your choice to the output of the Meta plugin. This way the signal is audible inside Pro Tools. The Meta plugin coming in a MIDI version too. This version is ideal to work with virtual instruments that you wrap inside the Meta plugins such as synthesizers, violins, pianos and any other virtual instrument that you want to work with. I don't have this function activated because I don't play virtual instruments in Pro Tools. And also you can set up your MIDI controller inside a plugin too to make it easier to work with your virtual instruments. The plugin is designed with a lot of different options to scan the plugins. You can scan only the audio unit for example, you can scan the BST or the BST3, depend of your choice. 
but in any case you can see how the plugin scanning all the plugins and in this way it's very easy to keep your plugin library inside the meta plugin this feature is very handy With Meta Plugin, it's very easy to wrap till five different plugins and make one kind of light rack that you can save as a preset in your Pro Tools session. This is a very interesting feature, but also is a very powerful creative tool. I pick for the sake of the example four different random plugins and I want to show you the creative possibilities that you can find inside this plugin. I'm gonna charge the four plugins inside the meta plugin connected each other and then I'm gonna play one audio and messing around in the rack that I create with the meta plugin. Now I'm gonna be in silence and let you hear all the things that I can do with this rack of four random plugins that I make inside a meta plugin. Thank you. 
Okay, this was our review of the Meta plugin by DDMF. I hope that you like what you see. If so, remember subscribe to our channel, leave a comment, activate the bell for the notification, share, and see you on the next one. And thanks a lot. Thank you.